we know that in the literature there are various methods are available to determine the velocity and acceleration of a slider crank mechanism in this video we are going to solve a numerical problem to find velocity and acceleration of various parts of reciprocating engine by Klein's construction one of the popular graphical method understanding of this method becomes very crucial while solving the dynamic force analysis of reciprocating engine problems so let's get started hello everyone welcome to my channel it's me dr v jayakumar i am making lecture videos for the benefit of mechanical engineering students if this is your first time or not yet subscribed please press the subscribe button and also the bell icon so that to get notified all my upcoming videos what is the learning outcome after watching this video till the end you should be able to understand clearly the client's construction procedure and more importantly should be able to apply it to solve a numerical problem to obtain velocity and acceleration of various parts of the reciprocating engine we know that there are so many methods available to do this kinematic analysis of reciprocating engines which you might have already studied under the kinematics of machines course the two broad methods are analytical method and graphical method you know analytical method the advantage being especially in the computer era it is easy to program them automate them and we could get the required velocity and acceleration of various parts at all crank positions on the other end we have graphical method the advantage of graphical method is that makes you to understand the subject much better but the drawback being we could be able to get the answer only for a particular crank position in order to get the answer at different crank positions we need to draw the record diagrams separately having said that from academic point of view graphical methods are more useful and powerful than the analytical method there are so many graphical methods available in the literature we have already studied in our kom subject relative velocity method relative acceleration methods instantaneous center method in addition to them we do have some other graphical methods namely klein's construction method ritteros construction method bennett's construction method of them the klein's construction method is considered to be the easiest and the popular graphical method to find velocity and acceleration of an ic engine our aim is to determine velocity and acceleration of various parts of the ic engine by klein's graphical construction method why we need to study this topic in dynamics of machinery course because this will be very useful while solving dynamic force analysis of reciprocating engine problems okay Uh, what is that client's construction procedure it has some steps which we need to follow one by one step number 1 will be as always we need to draw the configuration diagram the given mechanism as it is we must be drawing that's known as configuration diagram in the step number 2 using the configuration diagram that we have drawn we have to complete velocity diagram which we call it as klein's velocity diagram using the klein's velocity diagram constructed we can determine velocity of various parts of the reciprocating engine that is step number 3 for you then we are going to extend our construction to acceleration diagram 
the obtained acceleration diagram is known as Klein's acceleration diagram. That is step number four. Finally, using the constructed Klein's acceleration diagram, we are going to determine all the record or unknown values of acceleration. So these are the five steps. Shall we see the detailed procedure by taking an example uh, numerical problem? Yes. There you are. This is the numerical problem which we are going to solve today. Shall we read them thoroughly? The crank and connecting rod of the reciprocating engine are 150 mm and 600 mm respectively. The crank makes an angle of 60 degree with the inner dead center and revolves at a uniform speed of 300 rpm. Find by Klein's construction velocity and acceleration of the piston, velocity and acceleration of the midpoint of the connecting rod, the angular velocity and angular acceleration of the connecting rod. These are the required data. Let us see what are the data given. So crank length is given or then connecting rod length is given. Then crank makes 60 degree. Then finally, they are given as the RPM of the crank, N, right? So what are the things we have to find? So the given problem is clear for you. These are the data given. So these are the data we need to find. Let us see the solution. To start with, since they are given the RPM n, directly we can find the angular velocity of the crank omega. We know the formula. Omega equal to 2 pi n by 60. So substituting that, we will be getting the omega value as 31.42 radians per second. Shall we apply those five steps of Klein's construction method now? Right, let us apply step number one, which is nothing but construction of configuration diagram by using the usual procedure. I have chosen the scale one centimeter equal to 50 mm. That depends on the R and L values given. Let us draw the line of stroke, choose arbitrarily any point, using the crank angle and the crank radius, get crank from crank, end by using the length of the connecting rod we can get the piston end joining them we will get the configuration diagram yes so we have obtained the configuration diagram in the step number two we are going to draw Klein's velocity diagram he says to draw OM perpendicular to OP such that it intersects the line PC produced at point M. It says that you just extend this line. Then you draw perpendicular to line of stroke OP from O draw a perpendicular line is what we call it as M. We call this OCM is nothing but Klein's velocity diagram. So having completed Klein's velocity diagram, which is nothing but a triangle OCM, it's time now to find various velocity answers. According to Klein's construction, knowing the value of OM, and you multiply it by omega, you will be getting velocity of the piston. If you measure the side CM and multiply it by omega, you will be getting velocity of connecting rod PC. Is that clear? So first, we have to measure the sides of the client's velocity diagram. Measure OM. In this case, I think it's approximately about 2.9 centimeter multiplied by scale. What is the scale I chose? 50 mm. Same way, 
I could find CM value on measurement, I am getting the CM value as 75 mm. We know that velocity of the piston is equal to omega multiplied by OM. So omega 31.42 multiplied by OM 0.145. I am getting this about 4.56 meter per second. That is the answer. Now, the same way, let us find velocity of the connecting rod. Velocity of the connecting rod is VPC. What is the formula? Omega multiplied by the side CM. So, we will be getting the connecting rod answer as 2.35 meter per second. Finally, we need to determine velocity of midpoint of connecting rod. To find the velocity of the midpoint of the connecting rod, we have to divide the length CM in the same ratio as we would like to divide the connecting rod. Here we need velocity value at the midpoint Therefore, we need to divide the CM into two equal parts. So, I will find midpoint now. Let the midpoint of the connecting rod be capital letter D. I call the point as D1. Yes. We have joined now O and the midpoint of CM, which is nothing but D1, to find velocity of the midpoint, we have to find O D1 value multiplied by omega. So therefore, velocity of midpoint D is equal to omega into O D1. So O D1 by measurement, we are getting a 2.9 centimeter. There you are. So we have obtained velocity of the piston, velocity of the connecting rod, velocity of the midpoint of the connecting rod. Let us move on to step number four. Step number four is nothing but construction of the Klein's acceleration diagram. So it has few sub steps. Shall we see them one by one? First, take C as center and CM as radius, draw a circle. Now, take PC as diameter, draw second circle to intersect the first circle at points K and L. There you are. So, draw a second circle taking D as a center, PC as a diameter, we are drawing them. What is that intersection point? This one is K, let this one be L. Now, extend KL to N to be located on OP. So, let us join KL and extend till it intersects the line of stroke. L, I will join till it intersects at line of stroke OP. Then join KN, which we have already done. Right? So KN intersects line PC at Q. This is Q. Clear? Join OCQN which forms a quadrilateral. Where is OCQN? OCQN, which forms the quadrilateral, which is nothing but Klein's acceleration diagram. That's all about step number four. So we are going to get answers from here. If you measure OC and multiply it by omega square, you will get radial component of acceleration of crank. To find acceleration of the piston, we should be finding omega square multiplied by NO. So what I will do? I will measure NO. 
So I am getting the answer about 1.24 centimeter multiplied by chosen scale. I am getting around 62 mm. So first I need to find acceleration of piston. So what is the formula for acceleration of the piston? Omega square multiplied by N O. Right. So first answer we have got. So they have asked us to find angular acceleration of connecting rod. Alpha Pc formula for that is tangential component of acceleration divided by length of the connecting rod. If I measure this will give you tangential component whereas this CQ will give radial component. So now I need to find tangential component of PC. So for that I need to measure QN. So measuring that I am getting the answer around 6.5 centimeter multiplied by 50 my scale I am getting around this. First find ATPC. What is the formula for that? Omega square multiplied by QN. So I will get 128.3 meter per second square. Now I could easily find alpha PC. Right? If you want to determine angular velocity of connecting rod, what is the formula? We know that V equal to R omega. Am I right? If I want omega, I know connecting rod velocity, which we already found in step number three, divided by its length. So going by that, we will be getting the answer as 3.93 radians per second. They have asked us to determine acceleration of the midpoint of the connecting rod. Draw a line DD2 parallel to the line of stroke PO which intersect CN at D2. Okay. So what I will be doing now, I will be drawing from here parallel to line of stroke. It intersects QN at one point. That point I call it as D2. So now OD2 we have to measure. So by measurement, so I will measure now OD2. So I am getting 1.9 centimeter multiplied by the scale about 95 mm. Acceleration of midpoint D, we call it as A suffix D, omega square multiplied by OD2, I am getting answer as 93.76 meter per second square. This is the answer, right? Right. So this is the summary of all the answers we have obtained. So I have given you a problem for practice. Try it home. Check your answer. Okay. Hope you like the work. If so, please do support it by liking it, sharing it to your friends and subscribing the channel. Let's see you all in my next video. Thank you. Take care.